Hi everyone, welcome to week 10 of season 2 of the Los Altos Juice Frogs Team Builder Dynasty. And this week, we are taking on the UAB Blazers. This is one of the cupcake games that we scheduled to get an easy win. So hopefully we will be able to take down UAB and right the ship after losing a very tough game to UNLV in the Mountain West Conference. So here we go. Uh, UAB starts out with the ball, 3rd and 10, and they are able to complete the 3rd uh, down for a 1st down. Not only that, get a huge gain out of that. Now they give it to the running back Reeves, and he has a nice run up the middle. Perry drops back to pass on 2nd and 10. He looks and a guy comes open, but no, not open enough, and we intercept the ball, and Barrow takes it back out to the 25 yard line. Great play there by Barrow, great coverage, got a man wide open here, it's Sap again. Sap is just coming up huge for us every single game. Now we got Cunningham open, dangerous throw, but that was the only time that we could throw the ball to Cunningham. If we threw it any later, the safety would have been able to come over. This time we got Maxwell wide open, yup, and he takes it into the end zone. Takes it into the end zone for the touchdown, so 7-0. This time Perry, great run again, and the first down for UAB. Now they get it to Backman. Backman has a nice move, just cutting inside and getting 10 additional yards. Now second and three, they get to Reese. Reese gets another first down. First and ten, uh, Perry drops back the pass. Great catch there by Williams to get the ball inside the ten. I'm calling a, a blitz on defense. Hopefully we can stop them. And Franklin close into the end zone. All the plays that we've had a blitz dial to stop the run and they still got the touchdown. Wow, that was quite disappointing. This time we got Sap coming across the middle on the slant again. Nice 20 yard game. This time we got Maxwell wide open. Yup. But he cannot break it all the way into the end zone, but at least we're close to the red zone. This time we got Cohen coming across on the short route. The highest catch there, taking inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, here we go. But unfortunately, Hero is sacked. Now that backs, up, backs us up all the way to the 18, but no problem. Maxwell's got out of the smash route, and we are back up 14-7. And UAB, wow, they come right back with the pass to Banks, and Banks is able to sneak out of the backfield for a 20-yard gain. A couple plays later, it's third and five. Perry takes off running himself. He's hit, and we get the ball on the fumble. Huge play for our defense. And now we get the ball. Uh, a couple plays later, it's third down. And nice job for Sack to catch that ball in traffic. That was very clutch to get that ball to keep the drive going, otherwise we would not have been even in field goal range. But the very next play, terrible decision by my, uh, on my part, I should have waited to see whether that defender was going to drop off or come in, and I did not. I just saw that since he backed off, I assumed he was going to back off, he was going to continue to back off. Terrible decision on my part, and an interception to give UAB new life. So now after the pick 6, it's 14-14, here we go, Maxwell again, nice catch there, in the small window. And Maxwell, great stats so far, only 30 receptions, but over a thousand yards already. Now we got the ball to Sap, great job getting inside the 10 yard line on that slant route. A couple plays later, it's 3rd and 2, terrible pass, I have no idea how you can be that inaccurate. The force is a 4th and 2, and Atkinson goes straight up the middle and stuck. In retrospect, that was a bad decision on my part. If I'm going to run any type of power run, I should have Cunningham, my best player, in there running it. And now their running back, Franklin, comes out and just runs a huge one all the way into the end zone. A 90 yard rush. And UAB goes on top, 21 to 14. Just a horrible turn of events. Luckily, we get the ball to Maxwell coming right back on the next possession, and Maxwell is able to not only get to the end zone, but able to chew off some clock. 
And after chewing off the clock, we are able to take this ball in with Cunningham, which is what I should have done on the previous play. But we are able to tie the game up and start the ball um, in the start with the ball in the second half, which is pretty good. Now we got the ball to Cohen on the inside square route, and he's got a first down. So we are still in good position, although uh, the game definitely could have been much more open if we had converted that fourth down. Here, nice catch again, and we are driving uh, on UAB side of the field. Wide open, and Sack just clutch, catching the ball that was thrown clearly behind him. Now a couple of plays later, it's third down, and bad decision on my part. I should have waited a split second for Maxwell to get more distance between him and the second level. And I was a little bit impatient, bad decision, should have waited. And just story of this game. We have so many chances to put UAB away, but unfortunately, a little bit of impatience on my part, throwing an interception and giving UAB a chance to get back into the game. This time, this ball looks like it's going to be picked, but no! Davis catches the ball and out jumps two of our Juice Frogs defenders. And they keep the drive going, Franklin gets the ball and trucks a defender for a first down. Already 150 yards on the day, just absolutely incredible numbers for Franklin. And that's including that 90 yard rush he had. And here he trucks another defender uh, inside the 5 yard line. A couple plays later, it's third and goal. They give it to Reeves, and we hit Reeves before he can get into the end zone. And we stop them short enough that they cannot go for it on fourth down. So after a UAB field goal, we're down by three. We're coming back out. But Harrow is sacked on second down to bring up third and very long. So crucial third down here. We need this. Third and 18. Is Maxwell open? I think he's open. We're going for it. Fade route. He's got it. Too bad he stepped out of bounds, but still great job coming down with the ball there bailing us out. And now coming right back, Maxwell is wide open, they're not going to catch him. So the Salto's Juice Frost comes right back and goes on top 28-24. Well now UAB, they come back out and they're already past midfield. Great pass there by Perry. And UAB, I have to say, really plays better than what their ratings indicate. I mean, they're season Ds across the board, but they are really game here in this matchup. And they are taking it to Los Altos at every turn. Now, second down coming up, uh, Perry fakes the handoff, and he finds a move wide open again, and UAB, they just have been torching our secondary, and exposing our secondary this game, completely showing, showing the difference in quality between their receivers and our defenders, and it's a first and goal. Perry drops back the pass. We tackle him. We should have had him sacked, but he dives over two more defenders for a touchdown. Now UAB is actually up by three. Good news is it's three and it's not four, so we still have a great chance to at least tie the game and send it to overtime, if not uh, go up for the win. Here we got the wide open, but Kiro is sacked before I can deliver the ball. I held onto the ball just a little bit too long. This time, nice decision not to go deep. As that would have been an easy interception, instead we get it to Cohen, but he is stopped short of the first down, so unfortunately we have to uh, burn a timeout, and bad decision on my part there, and that basically ends the game. I saw that uh, the slot receiver in that bunch formation was going to come open, and I can understand Cunningham and Harold's frustration. That was wide open, I should have won the game there, but unfortunately... Impatient again, I like, did not wait long enough to throw that ball. And UAB, to add insult to injury, comes back and takes it all the way to the house for a touchdown. Just to run up the score. And now, second and 17, we pretty much had no chance to win the game if I want to run up the score anyway. But no, we cannot even do that. Harrow is sacked, and that's the end of the game. Just a crushing, crushing defeat, given that UAB is a far inferior team. And four turnovers definitely does not help matters. But look at that. 561 yards of offense for UAB. That has nothing to do with turnovers. UAB was just very ready to play in this game. And they completely dominated the game in every phase. And I don't know what to say. We are on a two-game losing streak. Which isn't a huge deal. Except that we lost to two very bad teams. 
So hopefully we can bounce back next week. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.